Something's got to change. I'm retired, and I really want to spend the rest of my life just, just writing. God's gifted you with a pastor's heart. I don't care what goes down today. I'm voting no, no, no. Your work here on earth is done. She will be our pastor. Our bylaws state that the vote must be unanimous, and I still vote N-O. We were kind of offended by your evaluation of our practices. We need to be able to say that we walked in truth. His dog has terminal cancer. Well, I don't need your sympathy. And I sure don't need you telling me what I ought to know about God. She came all the way to our house to pray for your dog, Dad. God healed Huckleberry. All in agreement? Aye. If Reverend Jenkins decides to pastor again, I'm going wherever she is. I gotta go hide the silverware. Why I choose to spend my morning with you is beyond me. Cause you love me? No. No? No, that's not it. I not think it. it must be because of the tea. The tea. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Let me check. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. It is definitely because of the tea. <laughs> Girl, you're not right. You're just not right. Generally speaking, there's only room for one. One. Fruit Loop in a room <laughs> at the same time. One so, smart aleck. Tell me how your meeting at the church went yesterday. Oh, girl, it didn't go like I expected, I can tell you that. Hmm. There was good news and there was bad news. Okay, well, tell me everything. Good news first. Good news. God healed Deacon Hall's dog of cancer. Oh. And the bad news is he healed his heart so that he voted for my implementation as pastor. <gasps> wow, they let the dog vote? Let's review the rules again. <laughs> one Fruit Loop, one Smart Alec per room. I couldn't help myself. I bet you couldn't. <laughs> so tell me, did you accept? I didn't have much choice. Oh, mm -hmm. Maddie, you should have seen the looks on their faces. And then there was your voice in my mind. Two questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is God saying to you? And is he big enough to win a war that was going to mean freedom for his people? So? I said yes. All right, all right. Woohoo! Okay, come on. We've got to get up. We've got to do our happy dance. It's time to celebrate. Let, let, let's hold off on the happy dance stuff until I know I'm actually happy about this thing. No, you get up here right now. Oh, the God of the universe just entrusted you with the care of a household of faith. Entrusted you with his precious seed. Now we're going to dance. I don't care what you say. I am not good. What? <laughs> Once again, I fall so short. The Spirit just said to me that obedience is better than sacrifice, but obedience without joy is no obedience at all. Ouch! Uh, Father, I am so sorry. I will be obedient to your will with joy. Come on, girls, okay. step aside. Okay. It's right. happy dance time. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> it's happy dance time, time before, before the Lord, before the Lord, before the Lord. Before the Lord. It's, it's a happy dance, dance time before the Lord. Call us and let us know how you're doing. All right. Later. I know you're going to miss him, Lamar. But this is an opportunity that he's been waiting for. A producer on a major film? I know, and I'm happy for him. I'm just not happy for me. 
Things will work out. You'll see. You know I'm next in line for his position. So what? You think what goes around comes around? You think Reverend Jenkins won't give it to you? Remember how mean you've been? She probably won't. That lady came in with change on her mind. Well, the meeting is in an hour. We'll see then. And Mama Scott would have already told her about Deacon Spires. Lamar, I know that look. I've seen it a thousand times. Yeah, you'll probably see it a thousand more too. Honey, you've got to let it go. You really do, Dad. That lady killed our baby boy. Have you forgotten? Now I have no one to follow me in the ministry. No, I haven't forgotten him. And no, she didn't. Dr. Wyatt did all she knew to do. I'm not quite so sure about that. Reverend Jenkins, is it Dr. Wyatt? Same principle. That lady is going to destroy the life of our church. Mark my word. Lamar. Don't Lamar me. Good morning. I know I'm a little early for the meeting. Oh, that's okay, because I need to speak to you for a few minutes. Okay. I'll leave you two alone. No, no, stay. Reverend Jenkins, this is Gina Nash. Hi. She will be your assistant. An assistant? Wow. Well, I felt like in dealing with Deacon Hall, that would be safety in numbers. <laughs> and believe it or not, I graduated number one in my self-defense class. Therefore, I am now a full-fledged soldier in the army of the Lord. Praise God, hallelujah, and pass the plate. <laughs> Girl, you and I are gonna get along great. <laughs> Reverend Jenkins, we yeah. do have a little situation. Wait a minute. Yep, it's still working, go ahead. Deacon Spires has left to take a job in California. Oh. And Deacon Hall is a little overwhelmed with the loss of his good friend. Uh, yeah. And, might I add, the gain of you. Yikes. All right, Gina Nash, soldier in the army of the Lord, let us prepare for battle. Let's suit up. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry about Deacon Hall. He just has a bad bark, but he doesn't really bite. No bite? No. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Morning. Come on. Let's get started. We have a lot of things to discuss. Reverend Jenkins, we would like to formally welcome you as our new pastor. Thank you. And we hope that Deacon Spy's departure won't cause you to change your mind about joining us. Not at all. Just means we have another opportunity to do some more growing. Well, I've done enough growing for a while. Thank you. Well, that's too bad because I'm pretty sure we're going to be growing throughout eternity. Thank you. Now see, that's crazy. Do you need a reminder? Uh. Reverend Jenkins, Exactly what did you mean by that? It came from a pretty popular evangelist I heard speak a number of years ago, and I'm telling you, it absolutely changed my way of thinking. What did he say? He talked about having a visitation to heaven and how an angel took him to the throne room. Did you believe him? I did, mainly because, you know, it hit me in my very core. It still does today when I think about it. Then I want to hear about it. He said once there that he saw the four living creatures and they were calling back and forth over the throne. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was, who is, and is to come. Exactly. And the thing was that they did it without ceasing. So he asked the angel, why did they do it without stopping? And the angel said, because every lap that they made around the throne, God revealed a new aspect of himself forever and ever and ever. Does that not take your breath away? But what does it have to do with growing? Here on earth, when God reveals an aspect of himself, it requires a response. God says he's love, then we have to love. 
God says He's a God of mercy, then we have to extend mercy. It's going to be the same there. And the thing is, learning to respond to Him is the same thing as growing. What an awesome way to spend eternity. Isn't it? Yes. An eternity of learning His depths. Mm. That's talking crazy. I have to use the bathroom. Is Deacon Hall still in the bathroom? He's probably in there reading a magazine, so he won't have to come back in here. <laughs> it's called hiding. Hiding. Well, let me just go unhide him. Oh, Lord, she's going to mess with him now. I've got to see this. Me too. <laughs> You all right in there? <laughs> or should we call 911? No, I'm fine. An appetit then, your <laughs> highness. <laughs> or would you like lunch? You could use a spot of roughage, you know. Cleanse the palate, clean the pipes and all that. Pip pip and cheerio. No, thank you. You really need to work <laughs> on that accent. <laughs> oh. Pepper and pencil, then. You never know when the Lord's going to speak, and you would certainly want to record every word of it. Woman, is there nothing sacred to you? <laughs> That's pastor woman to you, and no, not unless it's in scripture. <laughs> oh, thanks, Gene. You're welcome. Thanks, Gene. You're welcome. Okay, back to business. Reverend Jenkins, do you have any instructions for us as leaders? Yeah, I suppose there are a few. I'll tell you what, right off, please don't call me Reverend Jenkins. Holy and Reverend is his name. What he said. Then what should we call you? How about just Lynn? All right, how about Pastor Lynn? Yeah, well, of course, you realize Deacon Hall is still going to call me crazy. Crazy white woman. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we huh. could tell him that we bestowed upon you the title of the right white reverend. <laughs> <laughs> that ought to do him under. Oh, wait, don't do that. I can't afford the funeral. <laughs> mm -hmm. no, Mercy. All right, all right, what's next? Uh, I think it's really important that y'all understand how I view the congregation. They're not spectators. They're part of the priesthood. And Peter said a holy priesthood and a royal priesthood. Yeah. And when he said it, he was speaking to the common man in five different regions. He wasn't just talking to a few number of leaders. And so it's really critical for us to understand in this hour that every believer in Jesus is a priest. And with priesthood comes responsibility. Absolutely. I think we need to imitate the five wise virgins. The ones that were prepared. It's like this. When the bridegroom returns, I don't want him to find us saying, Master, this very month alone, why, we had four potluck dinners, we had two garage sales, we didn't lead anybody to the Lord, we didn't pray for the sick, and we didn't disciple anybody. Did we do good? May we enter into the wedding feast. Sounds to me like preparing is a part of growing. The same thing. So we really need to focus on making sure that this vessel remains full of oil. And he finds us using that oil for his purposes. Y'all in or out? We're, We're in. in. Yes. What is this problem?
Hello. Hey. Okay. You have two appointments this afternoon. Okay. Anybody I know? Um, a lady named Alice. She said you helped her mother die. You know, I heard an angel appear before she died. Is that true? It is. It was awesome. Wow. Yeah. I wish I'd been there. Honey, it's a moment I'll never forget. Wow. Who's the second appointment? Pastor McKnight said he pastors a small church down the street, Hillview Baptist. <laughs> Baptist? <laughs> What's he want with me? And I'm waving for stopping tongue talking Pentecostal. <laughs> Excuse me, but obviously you've forgotten that it says Baptist outside of this church? Well, that's a minor point. <laughs> <laughs> what? Does he know I'm a female? I didn't have to tell him. He asked for you by name. Yeah. Well, just in case he isn't real female preacher friendly, how about if I hold a meeting back in the kitchen while I'm fixing cornbread biscuits? No. <laughs> no. No, you're no, no. fun. <laughs> no fun. But anyway, he sound nice. Okay. So Alice okay. at one, Pastor McKnight at two. Okay. okay. Well, since I have appointments, I guess I'd better go home and get myself looking professional. <laughs> <laughs> how about, uh, I'll be back about quarter till. Is that okay? Okay. Yep. Sounds good. Thank you. Yeah. Alice, good to see you again. Trust all's well? Yes, ma'am. Good, we'll come on back to the office and we'll talk. Um, do you care if we stay here? It's kind of nice and quiet. Oh, that's fine. Let's get you over a little bit. You're right. It's nice and quiet and peaceful in here. So, you want to talk about anything? I know you don't really know me, but I'm not, I don't know much about religion. <laughs> Honey, that's a good thing. I do, and I don't think too much of it. But a love relationship with Jesus, that I can get excited about. I'm not worth Jesus' love. Oh, honey, you are so wrong about that. Alice. You were worth so much to Jesus that he chose, he chose to die for you, that all your sins could be forgiven. I do so much stupid stuff. Oh, honey, who doesn't? Bet you didn't know my middle name was, did she really do that? <laughs> but don't you see, that's exactly why the Father sent the Son? He knew we'd mess up, but we had so much worth to him that he made a way that we could be clean before him and have this wonderful, wonderful love relationship. I would love to have a relationship like that, but I don't know how to get it. Oh, honey, it's simple. We just go to the Father, we pray and we ask. We confess our sins. We ask the Father to forgive us, and then we ask the Lord to come into our hearts to be Savior and Lord. It's that simple. Would you like to do that? Sure, but I don't know how to pray. Oh, honey. Let's keep this thing simple. How about if I pray and you repeat after me? Could you do that? Yeah. yeah. And Alice, it's so important for you to understand that prayer was always meant to be something so natural. It's just you and me sitting here talking. So, let's just go talk to the Father. That okay? Yeah. Okay, come on. Father, we come before you in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, I confess my sins before you. And I confess my sins before you. And ask that you forgive me. And ask that you forgive me. And Lord, come into my heart. Come into my heart. As not just Savior. As not just Savior. But Lord over 
every area of my life. So thank you, Lord, for this gift. Thank you, Lord, for this gift. And this wonderful love relationship. And this wonderful love relationship. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Ain't it good? Yes. You are worth so much to the Father. Gina! Gina! Yes, ma'am. This is a dynamite book for new believers. Would you mind running it by Alice's house for me? Oh, sure. It's a goodie. Thanks. I'll go back to work today. Thanks. Hey, do we have a home group we can fit her into? No, ma'am. What do y'all do to disciple new believers? Girl, if we don't disciple them, we're going to lose them. we got to fix that little problem. Let's put it on the priority list. Okay. Appreciate you, girl. You're welcome. Yeah? Pastor McKnight is here. Oh, okay. Send him in. <clears throat> Pastor McKnight, please sit down. Thank you. It's finally good to see you and meet you in person. In person? Yes, I used to watch the, the television show. Ah, did you like it? Ah, uh, mostly. Uh, yeah, yeah, mostly. <laughs> you always challenged my beliefs. Oh, honey, welcome to my world. Every time I think I've got something nailed down, God shows me something else in Scripture and I gotta rethink the whole thing. Then I gotta decide what I'm gonna walk in. My old beliefs or Scripture? which is why I'm here today. I wanted to speak with you. You said something in um, one of those episodes. You said that it was ridiculous for these smaller churches to be within walking distance of each other and not come together. Sounds familiar. Mm-hmm. So in light of what you said in that episode, I have a proposal. Let's bring our churches together. Say what? Yes. It's a good thing and it makes sense. Listen, one, we can impact the smaller churches. Two, we could do so much more for the kingdom of God by bringing our resources and our people together. Mm -hmm. And check this out. I would love to be your assistant pastor. You know what? I want to go back to seminary. And being a senior pastor, I just don't have the time. Um, am I overstepping my boundaries? No. You have blessed me. You have honored me. I'm just a little bit overwhelmed. How's your board feel about this? Oh, they've been fasting. They've been praying. They feel that as if this is the will of God. Oh, you got a board that fasts and prays? <laughs> Be still my heart. <laughs> it's a small board, but they're real servants. Reckon. Pastor, a car just drove up and they were driving pretty fast. Okay, Gina, thanks. <sighs> you know I'm gonna have to go to my board, you know. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure, it's a good board, I'm pretty sure that they're going to say, Oh no! Jesus! Hit me! Hit me! What's going on? What's going on? What are you going to do with that? I was going to protect you. Honey, I don't need protection from him. I need protection from her. And so far, even Jesus hadn't been able to help me protect me from that woman. <sighs> Gina. Yeah. Go lock the front door. Stick a chair under the knob. Okay. Um, wow. Pastor Lynn, um, are you in some kind of trouble? 
the reason I ask, I used to be a police officer, so I got a little something if you need. What, what you need? <laughs> I don't know about needing a little something, but you can't answer a question for me. Is there any way it'd be legal for me to sneak over to somebody's house and let the air out of their tires so they can't get over here and make me crazy? Pastor. I'm just kidding. But you don't know that woman. Well, why don't you just tell me about her? Gina? Yes, ma'am. I love you. Answer that phone you fired. I wouldn't touch that thing for nothing. So now, now, tell me what's going on. Tell me about this character. Her name is Mabel Green. She's director of social services. And at my last pastor, she was always bringing me her Fruit Loops. You know, the ones she couldn't find placement for. And believe me, there was a good reason she couldn't find placement for them. <laughs> well, looks like to me she may have trusted you. No, looks like to me she enjoyed tormenting me. Yes. Excuse me, but a Mrs. Green left a message. You want to hear it? No. <sighs> Reverend Jenkins, Mabel Green here. I just heard you're the new pastor. I wanted to congratulate you and thank you for all the help you've given us in the past. I also wanted to let you know that we're doing a much better job of placing clients now. Thought you'd appreciate knowing that. Okay, bye. Well, that seems harmless. Seems like to me you don't have anything to worry about. Mm, maybe not. Well, uh, the time has slipped by. I gotta get to another meeting. So, Pastor Lynn, thank you so very much for meeting with me today. Oh, and thanks for coming by. Oh, no problem. Listen, consider my offer. Gina, could you show Pastor out, please? Oh, I know my way out. Thank you. Have a good day. Pastor? I just don't like that look. Oh. That car is still in the parking lot. And that woman is not showing any signs of leaving. What's she doing? Well, she's leaning against the hood. I may have some bad news. There is somebody in the back seat. I knew it, I knew it. That woman is out to get me. <sighs> What you gonna do? Can you do something other than pants? Go back and get that knife you had. That was a letter opener. Oh, that'll do. Hello, laddie. Oh, 